Acts of the Apostles, chapter 26, I read verse 28. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuaded me to be a Christian. Almost thou persuaded me to be a Christian. Unfortunately, he never become, be, 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 he never become a Christian, at least from what you could see from the Bible. King Agrippa was the person that was trying Paul. Paul was accused of preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And he was brought, brought before the king of the land. And Paul presented a very, very strong argument. He, he traced the history of what happened from Genesis to the birth of Jesus Christ, of why Jesus Christ had to die to pay for the sins of Adam and his descendants. And the essence, he told Paul, the essence of the, of the restoration, of the crucifixion and restoration of Jesus Christ. He also told, he also told King Agrippa that even high Paul was one of the persecutors of the early Christians. But God appeared to me through his spirit. And I'm saved. And he offered them Jesus Christ. So when Agrippa had that powerful sermon, he said, ah, even me that him, I'm trying, trying you for committing, uh, for preaching the gospel, you almost persuade me to be a Christian. Almost, but you never become a Christian. Are you almost a Christian or are you a Christian? You are listening. You are you are listening to this message. You are, you are listening to several messages. You couldn't decide whether to give your life to Christ or to still be enjoying the pleasures of sin. I was in such a situation about three, five years. Every year, I would say, Ah, maybe I should give my life to Christ this year. Let me wait for another year. I still want to enjoy it this year. At the end of the day, enjoyment, enjoyment. I didn't say any enjoyment. I wasted five years, it's not for the grace to pursue, to overcome, and to recover her. I never knew I was in bondage. Job didn't come. Money didn't come. I thought I could use my power, my connections, my contacts to better my life. I said, I don't need to, to, to give my life to Christ before I could succeed. And years were running by. I was almost a Christian. I never became a Christian for several years. Are you an almost Christian? Are you a partial Christian? You have one leg out and one leg in. Are you a Christian by descendant? Are you a Christian by birth? Are you a Christian because your father and your mother are Christians? Are you a Christian because your country, the people in your country are Christians? Can people see the character of Christians in you? Can people see the qualities of Christians in you? Akripa almost became a Christian, but the tragedy is that he never became. He never became a Christian from what you can see in the Bible. That shall not be your portion. Be a Christian. Surrender to Christ. Now, it does not cost you anything, and it doesn't buy it. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you nothing. You don't have to spend a pence. It doesn't take away anything from you. What it takes away is your body. What it takes away is your neighbor. Be a Christian. Don't be like Akripa Ak Ak that almost become a Christian. An almost Christian is not a Christian. Surrender your life to Christ today. Confess your sin. Repent of your sins. Be a Christian. And you are saved. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.